This annual press conference aimed to showcase and highlight the remarkable achievements of the ministry over the past year, as well as outline strategic plans and initiatives for the upcoming year. Babakar Ismail Adjouf, the Minister of Trade, Industry, Regional Integration and Employment, disclosed that the Gambia-Saudi Arabia Employment Agreement for Skilled and Unskilled Workers will provide Gambians with quality and secure jobs that will enhance the country's socio-economic status. No Gambian will work for more than eight hours without being paid overtime. Is that wrong? Is that bad? Is it not happening in the Gambia? No Gambian will work for 12 months. They'll work for 11 months, one month on holidays. Is that bad? Every Gambian will have paid leave. Your employer in Saudi will pay your vacation for you to fly to your country, stay with your family for the 12th month of the year. Is that bad? That every Gambian in contract in Saudi must be paid before the end of the month. Otherwise, the agency that licensed that employer to employ the Gambian who is not paying this guy, the license is revoked by the Saudi authorities. He emphasized that once implemented, this agreement will benefit Gambians by providing them with decent and secure jobs, ultimately improving the socio-economic status of the country. Juf announced that a joint monitoring committee has been established to address any concerns regarding employees' challenges. According to him, this agreement will allow skilled Gambians to return and work in Saudi Arabia under formal contracts. He responded to queries regarding the protection of domestic onion trade by stating that they initially determined the local onion production quantities. When we provided protection for onion growers, the first thing we did was to establish the quantities available. Because you don't want to you don't want to protect an industry or a segment of the commodities market. Prevent importation of that commodity. And before you even establish the or enforce the, the ban, the commodity is completely exhausted in the market. Then you have artificially created a shortage in that area. Additionally, he discussed various indicators affecting the protection of consumer commodities in the country. The minister for the discussed job creation efforts and the challenges faced by his ministry in keeping records of employees in the country. He mentioned the establishment of a committee comprising the private sector, civil society organizations and non-governmental organizations to advise the ministry on areas needed for job creation. The minister will get advice from this committee on what we need to do, the areas that can create the jobs, because that is what the policy requires government to do, to create the enabling environment for these jobs to be created. Government is an employer, but not a major employer. We facilitate employment, and the jobs being created in the market are aimed at transforming into employment. He emphasized the significant role of the private sector in employment generation. Regarding the issue of skyrocketing commodity prices, Minister Juf assured that the government is concerned and is taking measures to mitigate the situation by waiving essential commodities. Overall, the conference provided comprehensive information about the ministry's activities in 2023, including achievements, challenges, and planned initiatives aimed at improving the socio-economic development of the country. The ministry called for concerted effort to achieve the development aspirations of the Gambia. For TFN News, Dauda Balde.